Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's already 9.30, <laughs> and I am just getting in the kitchen. I'm going to do my uh, kitchen sort of block schedule time here right now, so I'm giving myself about two hours. I actually am missing an item, though. So Amber is um, on her way to Walmart right now. Um, she's looking for lights for under her. She made a pallet bed, and so she wants to put some lights under and make it all look all pretty and decorative and everything. So anyway, she's on her way to Walmart right now, um, and I had her, she's going to FaceTime me, and we're going to try to find like a steamer. I just don't have a really good system for steaming or for blanching garden vegetables, well, any kind of vegetables. But um, last time, I just used like my great big boiling water canner, and then I used... And then I used this, and I just tried to put this in there, but it was really kind of, it was a mess. I got boiling water splashing on my feet and dripping and whatever. So I really, I've never had an actual system for blanching that's appropriate. <laughs> and so she's going to look, everything shows that it's out of stock online. So, um, but she's going to FaceTime me, see if they have something. So, all right, I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life. I picked a whole bunch of stuff in the garden. Uh, I actually picked it yesterday, which is kind of not ideal, but sometimes life isn't ideal. And so I have it. Uh, can you see it? It's right there. My dill got wimpy. That's okay though. It doesn't the dill doesn't doesn't really make any difference with the dill. But what I really want to do is process up all of this broccoli that I have here, and then we also have some green beans that we're going to steam for lunch, and then I have a bunch of little cucumbers underneath. So I'm going to get this stuff all going here uh, first. Actually, I think I'm going to wash up a few of these dishes that didn't fit in the dishwasher this morning, and. Um, yeah, I want to make a corn casserole for supper tonight, so I think I'm going to put that together right now as well. And what else am I going to do? I'm, and I also have some shredded zucchini. I have already frozen well over 30 two-cup bags of zucchini this year and I still have zucchini <laughs> coming out of my ears. So I do want to make I have earmarked a recipe for like a zucchini. It's kind of like a carrot cake with cream cheese frosting, but it's a zucchini cake. I made it before. Um, I'd like to just make that again because I thought it would be really good. And um, yeah, so I think that's about it. So I'm just gonna get kind of get moving. <music> All right, it's time to check in. So you, you guys saw, got all the vegetables um, at least soaking over there. I have the green beans ready to go. We're gonna steam those up for lunch. I did get five jars ready because I'm feeling like there's gonna be about five quarts. Although once I dumped it in, it looks like it could be seven quarts. I have jars, I have garlic, I have dill. I've got everything I need. So if I need two more, I'll get them ready. Now, it really doesn't matter Typically, I pack my pickles first, then I put everything over it. But since my pickles uh, are still soaking right now, I thought I'm just going to get the dill and the sugar and the salt in here right away. Then I will put in the half cup of vinegar and fill them up with water uh, after I have all the, um, once I have the pickles or, you know, right now they're still cucumbers uh, when I get those packed into the jars. Okay, so um, I... Uh, I also, you might have seen me kind of like over at the counter there, I also made some Italian dressing and then I have two packs of venison thick steak marinating. Now I get a lot of questions from people about regarding the gamey taste in meat and I guess it's it's kind of a, 
hard question for me to answer without maybe sounding sort of sarcastic because all meat tastes different. So if you bite into a piece of chicken thinking it's gonna taste like turkey, it's not, right? And so if you bite into a piece of uh, deer meat, you know, venison, uh, a steak or something and you're thinking red meat it's going to taste like beef it's not going to taste like beef it's a completely different meat just like if you bite into a bear steak or an elk steak or something like that it all tastes different so getting rid of the gamey taste is not something that i'm necessarily looking to do um, i'm just trying to enhance uh, the flavors and the flavor of the meat that we really like and we all really like venison now i have to say we've bought um, a couple half of um, beef cows over the last few years because we just haven't been getting the um, the deer like we were at one point and I think as, you know as like our kids get older and sometimes things are happening during deer season that they can't control um, they're not, not able to hunt as much and so we just haven't been getting as many deer as we used to and so um, but where was I going with this? Oh, the beef. Um, I actually prefer venison. So if I were given the option of a venison steak or a beef steak, hands down, I will take the venison steak any day. I mean, deer venison. I'm not huge on bear, and I don't really think I've ever had elk. Maybe I have, but um, I will take the venison steak. We like to marinate our venison steak in Italian dressing for a couple hours, really whatever amount of time you have available. And then we like to grill that. Now you wanna be sure to grill that just to like, um, you know, kind of underdone. Whatever you think done is, grill it less than that because when it sits under a little piece of tin foil waiting for everybody to gather around, <laughs> it will continue to cook a little bit um, and that will tend to dry it out just a little bit. That's the that's the thing I think is the most important with um, wild game is to be sure to cook it in a way that it doesn't dry out. I mean, obviously sometimes mistakes happen <laughs> and sometimes you dry it out and then you just make a lot of gravy. <laughs> so um, yeah, but I guess if you just simply don't like the taste of deer meat, then you're probably going to want to try to season it up a lot. Maybe grind most of the meat instead of using it as like a hunk of meat. Uh, I find that when you grind venison and then add, um, I mean you could even go half and half beef and venison if you really wanted to. We don't, but you could fry it up in a little bacon grease. That will add a lot of um, like fat to a very, very lean meat because venison's super lean. You can also then season it up for things like taco, tacos and chili, um, what else? Different, you know, soup, especially in soup, that really does tenderize the meat, makes it softer, and then it also, you add a lot of flavor to the meat. So I guess that would be my, those would be my best tips for you as far as when it comes to you know, making venison and stuff. Now, goose, <laughs> that's another story. Um, I know a lot of people really like goose. It just has not been one of my favorite meats. Um, so, okay, maybe this fall though, maybe we'll find some new ways to prepare goose and I'll show them here. We'll see, Nick is already super pumped that goose season is coming up. I think early goose opens on September 1st or September, September something, and that is just seriously right around the corner. My cucumbers have been soaking here for quite a while. My broccoli also is soaking. I'm gonna let the broccoli just keep soaking until I hear from Amber. <laughs> that will not be a problem at all. I'm gonna get these pickles washed up. I always like to use a clean washcloth, and then I like to really scrub the heck out of them. Um, one, to get like the little black spines off of them. You don't want to bite into that. And then also just to get any sand, because of course, who wants sand in their pickles? Okay, well that took longer than I thought it would. It always does. Scrubbing pickles just, I always think, oh, this will just take me a couple minutes and boy, it just seems to take forever. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna pack these up. Um, I gotta get my canner on. That's what I need to do next. Hey. 
I know that I showed this in my video that's dedicated just to canning pickles, uh, but I always like to separate out all of my sizes so that when I'm um, jarring them up, I have them kind of, um, yeah, I guess just canned with like sizes. It just makes it easier, I think. Do those have a third piece? Yes, right there, right there, right there. Go up, right there. This eight-core stainless steel multi-cooker with lid. It's got this. <laughs> Does it, it has the holes? Yes, that? yep, 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 yep. What's that other piece there? I have no idea. I think it's like the lid. Okay, okay, show show me something else. Is there anything else? Yikes. No, it's got to have that, that big strainer basket. This. Uh, let me see. What does that say? Oh, yep, nope, nope, nope. Did you go over by the canning stuff? Was there anything by the canning aisle? All right, do they have a bag of canning salt? Mrs. Wages canning salt? It's in a green bag. Yes. Is it about, how much is it, $5? 248. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, could you get that too? I think so. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so you heard. <laughs> Amber just contacted me and, oops, I shouldn't set that there. And um, she's going to bring me home one of those strainers. So it's like $20 or something. And then pick up some more canning salt too. So, okay, I'm just going to get these things, uh, get these things, you know, these things here. I'm just going to put these things in a jar. Do we have like... Tissue paper too? Yes. Uh, there should be tissue paper out in the right-hand school closet. Hey. <laughs> okay, so next up we're going to make some zucchini bars with cream cheese frosting. And it is, just for time's sake, it is 10 minutes to 11. So I've been in the kitchen for an hour and 20 minutes so far. So I definitely am starting to run out of things. I'm completely out of oil. I just used the last eggs, even the ones that our chickens laid today, because um, we used up a bunch of those for breakfast as well. And now I'm out of butter. So I'm putting margarine in here that I had actually purchased for a couple other recipes. Life goes on. So this is really just like making zucchini nut bread, but putting it in a pan and then frosting it. I mean, let's be real here. The ingredients are not really that much different, but I do think this is gonna be delicious. Hey, the pickles are done, let's see. <laughs> There they are. We're just gonna wait for the, the lids to pop or to ping. I love that sound. Every canner loves that sound. Okay, and we are going to, we're, we are going to, uh, we, I am going to put on my chicken coop shoes, flip flops, and see if I can get two eggs. I really wanna make that corn casserole and I realize it needs eggs and I used them up in the zucchini bars. Sam's mowing the lawn. 
That's a good thing. It's pretty long right now. <laughs> pretty long. Okay, ladies, do you have a couple eggs from three eggs? Yes. Nice job. Nice job, girls. Nice job. Okay, let's grab those. Okay, you don't go out. You know you're not supposed to go out because Eska, she might, you never know what she might do to you. You don't want to find out. Looks like we're in business now with the broccoli. Amber and Tony brought home some more salt. I didn't, I wasn't totally out of this, but I was getting low. But they brought home this. I think this is gonna work actually really well. And it was just under 20 bucks. Mainstays, stainless steel, right? Does that say, yeah, stainless steel, so awesome. Those are the bars. Ooh, they do not look quite done. They still look a little bit wet. So my time here in the kitchen is starting to get a little longer than I had anticipated, but it's basically lunchtime. What I do is I just bring this to a boil for blanching. I want that to blanch for two minutes. I'm going to put it into an ice water bath, and then I will package that up into probably two quart size freezer bags. The corn casserole is done. I just took a scoop out. That's what I'm actually gonna sit out on the patio and have for lunch. So, you know, it's 12.30 now, and like 11.30 would have been like the two hours that I had originally given myself in the kitchen here, and I'm not done. I've got stuff I have to put away and dishes to wash and all of that. I'm gonna have to start getting my act together because shortly we're gonna be starting back with homeschool. I'm not gonna be able to spend this much time in the kitchen. <laughs> so I better start getting my act together here a little bit and uh, yeah, trying to get things done a little bit quicker. Alrighty, let's go, Joe. You ready? Okay, let's go. Dad's got the grill out here. He's going to be grilling tonight. So this afternoon, let's see. So. I haven't vlogged at all this whole afternoon, but after lunch, I feel like something happened. I don't remember what it is, but then Warren, uh, he needed to get some batteries. <laughs> but then Warren needed to get batteries for, I think the bulldozer. Is that what we got the batteries for? Was the bulldozer? I'm not for I think so. And so we had to go up to Fleet Farm. And Amber was home. And so we just, actually Amber and her boyfriend, they were both here. And so we put them in charge of Joseph, Peter, and Maria. And we ran up to Fleet Farm together, which was really nice. Sometimes it doesn't have to be like a major date, which, although that would be great. We really could uh, use one of those right now. But what was three dollars? The batteries? No, no. Got blue three dollar. Oh, car. yeah. He he got a little matchbox car that was three dollars when they went to the races. Okay, so what I was saying is it doesn't have to be a big deal. Sometimes uh, just getting away and being able to listen to one another without all of the distractions. You guys know my I get distracted very easily, and when Warren's talking to me, especially about marsh work and stuff. Just a second, honey. Just a second to my second honey. <laughs> They're in line, lining up to talk to me right now. But uh, what was I just saying here? Yeah, sometimes it's just so nice to just get away, even for a little drive like that, so we can actually just listen to one another without any distractions. Because it seems like every time I hear a little noise or something, I'm like, oh, I know what that is. I, I, I gotta go tend to that or whatever. So it was great. And now here we are swimming. <laughs> 